been trying to plan a vacation this summer and I'm trying to figure out where to go and I've been looking at hotels all across the world. So I figured why not create some brand identity for a hotel brand. So that's what we're going to do today. I'm Nakia Pleasant. I am the owner of Fitzhall Agency, loud and proud. <laughs> but Fitzhall Agency is a branding and production agency. We specialize in brand identity and production in the fashion, beauty, and lifestyle space. Leaving brands with an identity that could possibly be the next big thing. Ooh, that was a good... I don't know if you guys noticed, I've been like trying to practice my uh, elevator pitch. <laughs> so each time I like do an intro, I'm literally like, what can I say different this time? But I think that was the one. Mm -hmm. So let's get started. I haven't done any background research like I did last time. I haven't come over the name or all that stuff. So I'm gonna take you guys through that flow this time and the design process. So sit back, relax, and just chill, babe. Okay, have fun. All right, first things first, this is not typical how I do things um, when I have a client. Obviously the client has background information on why they started the brand, all those good things like mission statements and their target audience and all that good stuff. But this is fictional, so I'm just gonna come up with some stuff and we're gonna see. I think what I'm gonna do to make this faster is use ChatGPT and I said GPT. <laughs> chat gpt isn't that what it's called yeah i think i'm gonna use chat, chat gpt just to give me a base and then i'll just have to work with it how about that because i don't know so let's ask can or not even can you give me <laughs> give me a brand i then to T design brief for a boutique boutique hotel boutique hotel. I mean, I'm not even gonna say where or anything. Damn. <laughs> what? It's like a real brief. <laughs> I didn't expect all that. <laughs> what? Okay. I'm gonna ask where is this at? <laughs> I'm having so much fun. <laughs> hmm, I'm gonna just say it's in Mexico. Um we are embarking on creating a brand identity for our boutique hotel situated in a charming urban location. Urban? Maybe I could do Mexico City. It's definitely on my to-go list. I actually want to like go to Mexico City and really do it up. Um, but anyways, the design should reflect our commitment to sophistication, comfort, and attention. Our hotel aims to provide guests with unique and personalized experience, blending luxury with a sense of intimacy and locality. Hmm, okay. We got luxury, intimate, urban. Okay, brand essence, boutique elegance. Our hotel embodies elegance with a personalized touch, offering a refined experience to our guests. Urban charm. Reflecting the charm and vibrancy of our urban location, our brand exudes warmth. Ooh, okay. Hold on. We gotta write these keywords down. Cause that really means something. We're gonna go with pink today. So I'm gonna write down these keywords right quick. We have authenticity. We aim to celebrate authenticity in our locale integrated, integrating local culture, flavors, experiences with our brand identity. Our target audience is discerning travelers seeking unique, intimate hotel experience, business travelers, okay, 
couples, individuals seeking a romantic getaway. Thanks, Alexa. Okay, and it says the local design should be elegant, timeless, easily recognizable. Capture the essence of the boutique hotel experience. Subtle elements reflecting the urban location and architectural features. This is kind of, I feel like this is, we are vibing right now. Like if this is my client, I'm like, okay, let me see, let me see. <laughs> um, we have Envision Sophisticated, or for the color palette, we have Sophisticated color palette reflects our brand as in muted tones, accents of warmth, create a welcoming atmosphere, earthy, soft blues, gold, copper. Now, <laughs> that part, I'm a little, I'm a little, I'm a little like, I'm a little scared for that part. <laughs> Cause it just feels basic. It's giving it Tulum, and I don't know. The blues has got me. I can do the blue and the warm, like a little mix of blue, orange. I could do that. Maybe that's what we'll probably do. Just spice it up a bit. Um, typography would be. Uh, they want to do. <laughs> I'm like they. Uh, typography. <laughs> I'm having too much fun right now. Okay. <laughs> typography. Select elegant, modern typography that conveys sophisticated warmth. Um, a typeface should be legible, versatile, various applications. All right, so they want a whole, a whole suite. Uh, our brand's voice should be warm, inviting, personable, reflecting our personalized experience. Um, we have a commitment to luxury, comfort, attention to detail. Okay, a local flavor that sets us apart. All right, let's do some more research before we start this is definitely how it works like i do a lot of research before i actually design i really want to get to know my clients brands um the discovery process is my longest process like usually like usually discovery and logo takes the longest because those are like big big steps but once i get that done we're done like we're like it's pretty much done unless you need like specific collateral it's pretty much done Um, so since I said this place is in Mexico City, let's look up some stuff about Mexico City. Um, what is Mexico City known for? Mexico City is known for a rich coast, rich culture, ancient ruins, dazzling beaches, and incredible cuisine. You can tour the Mayan temples by day, indulge in fantastic food while listening to the rhythm of live music. The lounge, they have lounges on tropical beaches to explore with vibrant, vibrant corals and marine, I cannot talk, marine life of the underwater world. Oh wait, I didn't type Mexico. I said Mexico. Mexico City. Oh, they have a Frida Kahlo Museum. Wow, I didn't even go there. This Forbes article. It says, why is Mexico City the number? Ah, oh my God. Why are these ads taking up the whole page? Like, what is that? For real? Okay. Why is Mexico City the world's number one destination for business travelers? Hmm. And that's what they said in the brief. It said that they will have a lot of business travelers. Mexico City is, oh, Time Out Magazine named Mexico City as the number one city in the world for culture. Today, Mexico City is widely recognized as a top destination for business travelers, either looking for work either looking to work remotely or enjoy some cultural experience while attending meetings and conferences. While urban planners, architects, and police have all played big roles in Mexico City's evolution, the new group of globally renowned chefs have also helped catalyze Mexico City's transformation. 
and also helped boost Mexico's soft power of elevating Mexico's gastronomy. As of 2021, the Mexico's federal government published its most report on income to Mexico City. The minimum salary in Mexico's capital was 141 pesos a day, or just over $3,000 per year. Man, imagine surviving on $3,000. What? But on the other hand, just one percent. Wait, 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 wait. The latest report shows that Mexico City, that was in 2021, at $3,000. So the latest report shows that Mexico City, around 2.5 million people earn less than $6,000 per year. Six out of every 10 workers or 59% of the workforce. Damn. God. But I guess that's a lot out there. I don't know. Let's see what National Geographic gotta say. Top things to do in Mexico City. I'm just trying to see what I, like I said, I've been wanting to go cause I've just seen so many different um, designers and artists come from Mexico City and I know there's like a big community there for that um, and like that article just said like the cuisine like everything's a bit more elevated now because the chefs have been going out there and like a lot of artists have been going out there to just live and not live in America truly Mexico City has more than 150 museums and galleries but that'll take me three months to go through. What is this? These are sweets? Dia de las Moretos. Y'all, I stopped practicing Spanish a long time ago, but I think it's time to start again. Cause what? I don't even know what I'm reading. So now I think it's a good time to look at some other hotels out there, some other boutique hotels out there. Just see how they're integrated into the culture, into the lifestyle there, and just see what they're offering, all that good stuff. Um, I don't know what it takes to run a hotel or anything, but I love me a good hotel. I am not an Airbnb girl. I cannot do it. I like when people come and clean. I like to be served. I just, I'm paying for it. I want to experience it. That's how I, I see it. And I just like the luxury of it all, the convenience. Um, I could do an Airbnb, but I'm just saying, preference, hotel. Okay, <laughs> just letting you know. But this one came up and it's called Las Alcabas or Alcabas. I don't know. Somebody told, one of my friends told me that when I speak Spanish, I sound Italian. So, <laughs> this one's really nice. Like, um, our property. Very much modern. They are the finest hotel in Mexico City. House a 35 room, seven story building. Avinda Presidente Mazagrac. One of the most affluent streets in the world. Oh. Formerly a private residence. Ooh. Overseen by. Uh, the design transformation was for this hotel was overseen by an interior design duo who clients include Prada, Louis Vuitton, Four Seasons W Hotels. Oh, they got they got a roster. How much do they cost? <laughs> I'm like, hmm, let me see. Oh, they're connected to Marriott. Hmm, that's not boutique. <laughs> it's boutique, but it's fake boutique. <laughs> It's a really nice hotel though. Wow. Y'all expensive. Okay. Bye. <laughs> what? Boutique hotels in Mexico City. Dang, the block is hot when we're in Mexico City. They got articles on top of articles. Now this is nice. Oh, they really built this stuff brick by brick. Look at that. Oh my gosh. If <laughs> you watch Snowfall, brick by brick. <laughs> okay. This is a six 
Hippodrome is a 16 room hotel on a quiet leafy street in La Condesa. So this must be the spot, La Condesa, okay? Has an inherent cool factor that resonates with both business and leisure travel. So there's a lot of business and like vacation travel, but it's a lot of artsy people that are coming here. I do know that, that's why I wanna go, cause I've seen all the cool people <laughs> go. I'm like, damn, that looks fun. Um, it looks cool. I feel like I got a good idea for like the vibes out there and like how to compete with some of these uh, other boutique hotels out there and make it a little bit more unique. So right now I kind of got a good idea of like how I'm feeling like this should go, um, how I can make a brand identity for this hotel in Mexico City that can compete with these other hotels there and kind of stand out and be like the next hotspot hotel to be on these websites like Forbes and all that good stuff. So I, I'm like, I'm getting into it now, babe. <laughs> so now I wanna try to come up with some names right quick on chat GBT um, and see like what it comes up with and if it can come up with anything. So let's see, boutique hotel names. For, or, sorry, start over. Hotel names for, or, okay, start over one more time. Names for a boutique hotel in Mexico City. Okay, okay, hold on. Now let's open Illustrator and get this rolling, okay? I'm not feeling that. As far as the names, we can go through right quick. I am most feeling Azul Maya Boutique Hotel. I'm liking that. El Encanto. I like this, but not Mexicano. I like El Encanto. But I don't know if I'm taking out a word, like a sentence, so I'm gonna check. La Paloma Azteca. I wonder if any of these are like legit already. Oh shoot, hold on. <laughs> My nose itch hecka bad. It just don't got no ring to it. Luna Danielle. This sounds pretty. When I said when I said that in that accent like that, that sounds beautiful. Right, I'm gonna just go with three and keep it moving. All right, so now it's time to look for some inspiration images and things to get us inspired for this. Um, I am on my favorite favorite website called Arena. Um, I'll link it down below so you guys can have a direct link, but. I am obsessed with this website. They have such good stuff, such good like vibes and all that stuff. Like, I feel like it's very more, it's very much more curated. It's, I don't know, it seems like it's more knowledge based content as well. Like, there's a lot of articles and stuff on there if you want to read about stuff, um, videos and stuff. Like, it's more archival, I would say. It's more like a library, but I, I like that personally. 
um, just like my personal taste. Low, 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 low. <laughs> oh, look at this. Oh my gosh. I feel like so far with this, I'm struggling a little bit because there's no like backstory here. <laughs> like the ChatGPT, they can't give like, it don't give location and backstory and like, like this is like, I want to make this cause my grandmother and like, you know, like it's missing that humanization for sure. Like that humanity. Um, yeah, it's like definitely missing that humanity for sure. I think I got a lot of inspiration for this branding so far, but I need to go to Pinterest still because Pinterest has like those design elements and I can find like actual things that I can remember to do. I can find like examples of materials and mock-ups and stuff like that that I need to create for a hotel just as a reminder and stuff. But first, I'm getting very sluggish right now. I want to go make a matcha to have as a pick me up while I finish the rest of this inspiration mood board. So let's go. So good every time 
if you don't follow Fit Salt Agency on Pinterest, go ahead and do so. Um, I feel like that's a way to keep up with like our projects and things that we have going on. Um, some stuff might be private, but it's just like to see what we're inspired by, see what we're feeling, what we're loving, um, see some of our clients' uh, aesthetics and stuff like that. Um, I'm already seeing stuff that is so like dope. Already feeling this so much. This is just my home page. <laughs> That's insane. Okay, so remember when I was talking about the color palette earlier and what I could envision what I was envisioning in my head? This is literally what I saw when they read the color palette out. Color palette out. Okay? We envision a sophisticated color palette that reflects our brand's essence. Consider muted tones with accents of warm to warmth to create a welcoming atmosphere earthy tones soft blue hints of golden copper literally i don't know about that golden copper but i feel like the gold kind of shows through the colors but this is literally what i thought of i'm gonna pull some more like fashion uh inspiration of like people that would probably stay here like vacation looks like image like all that good stuff luxury yes once i like incorporate like this stuff and the coolest like fashion stuff wow it's i'm less like <laughs> i'm a lost <lustful. laughs> i'm at a loss for words with my damn self <laughs> there is so much that goes into hotel branding like they need everything, like everything, <laughs> like everything, everything. What? I gotta like how that is. Like hotel keys, door tags, business cards, this key, like slot thingy where it holds the key. Just everything needs branding. So last time you guys watched my design with me, this process right here is basically the process I did not show. I kind of like set everything up, did the research and stuff, made sure I like knew what I wanted to do because it is hard getting on here and doing like a whole brand identity like just out of my mind like that. Like, uh uh, I have to, <laughs> I have to have some substance and some inspiration and behind it. But I got so many comments and um, notes about like my like inspiration process and to break it down
all right guys so i powered through and found enough inspiration uh this is oh this been a minute but this is what we have so far and i'm gonna zoom out it already feels like i kind of made two mood boards or three but let's go ahead and work on the mood board together and then be out okay <laughs> i just really feel like i hit it on the nail with like how the aesthetics are like it's literally spot on i wish i could include all of these into one but it doesn't look like that's gonna happen um because that's just too dang go much it's so weird i feel like i don't have like a process for real because i just go off of, like how i feel so just a quick overview of what's happened so far i started with arena i started with finding like more cultural references, vintage references, um, finding like textures, old stamps and old like hotel uh, stickers. And um, I went, I dived into more like folklorico re references um, and a little bit of Aztec references and stuff like that. But I really just wanted to more so just get a feel of where I'm going that's what I feel like I can always do that on arena like I can always find a direction on arena because I noticed that this font like these type of fonts like this like those big bubbly ones and like the characters swirling around and stuff after looking on arena I figured out that that comes from Mexican culture Mexican art and like a lot of uh signs uh out there or I don't know if it's still I, if I'm wrong, I'm wrong, but like it, I've noticed a lot of signs like old, on old buildings out there in Mexico, like they use this font, like these type of fonts. So it actually really, really works, right? So I feel like having those cultural references to tie back really creates that local feeling, that feeling of like referencing the culture in Mexico. I'm just gonna pick which ones I want on the board But even this still looks so good um just as on like the side so i can have more stuff to look at and whatnot
but I think this is still like a good representation of like what's going on. Like, I have a very, very, <laughs> you are very, very, <laughs> but I have a very strong base right here. So honestly, like the mood board is done. Okay, that was enough inspiration for a lifetime. So just really quick before I close out, I wanted to go back to the names right quick because we didn't pick one. And I just want to ask y'all in the comments down below, which seeing the inspiration now, seeing the mood board, the vibes, the direction that I'm going in for this um, hotel branding, what would you say um, feels best for this brand or for this hotel? So like, what name? Asul Maya? Casa Silo? Luna de Mia? Right now in this moment, I'm feeling Casa Silo. I feel like with the blue, it just seems right. Guys, let me know in the comment down below what name really goes with this brand to really bring it together. Um, as you can see, I kind of have my mind on on one in particular, but I really want to know y'all's opinions and what you think so far. I'm super excited to continue on in the next video. I had a good time doing this brainstorming and this inspiration with you guys today. Um, as you can see, doing branding is a lot more than designing. I really look forward to seeing how this comes out in the end. Stay tuned for part two. Please subscribe to see the part two. Please don't forget to subscribe and tell your mama, your auntie, your cousin, your brother about my YouTube channel, okay? I will talk to you guys later. Peace out.